high school. Some will interpret this as the next four years after middle school. The most important four years to get into the college of your dreams, maybe just a school, and for some, a school where you know you'll be... But I think it's safe to say that these four years changed our lives, for the better or for worse. And for me, I don't think I'm one to boast about myself, but um, yeah, I definitely learned a lot about who I am. <laughs> So this is a letter dedicated to my high school experience, and I hope you can take something away from it. Dear high school, did you really have to be that difficult? I was only 14 years old, coming from a private school of 200 kids, entering into a flood of 2,000 kids. I think everyone felt lost to a certain degree. Or should I say, to what extent did we feel lost? You really burn command terms from essay prompts into my head. You took a scared little five foot freshman who was still five foot and made her not feel special amongst all these students. This whole education system is really more than just academics. I did receive every single letter grade you could possibly think of, which was such an eye opener for someone who always got straight A's in middle school. But you know, it made me realize it's brutal out here. <laughs> It's truly a big challenge made up of many battles in order to find some sense of peace that no teenager should have to face. But we did. And I think we survived. You face so many hardships, challenges, heartbreaks, stress, anxiety, and try to balance it all with your responsibilities as a teenager. All to discover yourself. I wouldn't be where I am if you hadn't made me sit through TOK contemplating the meaning of anything I knew, write another history essay in the morning to overanalyze the word discuss, write another English journal about a cockroach that felt no purpose in life, try to find what x is in an equation, code a whole website, write a 4,000 word essay, and a few more 1,500 word essays in other classes, or even just to raise my hand in class. Now, that was what just happened in class. I'm sure each and every one of those in the class of 2021 had personal matters of the typical teenage drama, but it felt more than that when you live it. Trying to find your place and trying to stand out for being who you are is the biggest struggle I faced in high school. This social hierarchy already casts you into your position to be labeled as the one to avoid, the quiet one, the obnoxious one, the smart one, and it's like it erases your whole identity in trying to prove who you really are. It's like high school defines who you are already. It seems really unfair looking back at the past four years, but I am really happy where I am right now in life. I learned a lot in school that the school itself did not teach me, but the people themselves. Whether you gain or lose friendships, relationships, or even just walk past someone in the hallway, the biggest thing you can learn from high school is that no one cares. No one cares if you had the loudest laugh in the room. No one cares if you had a cough attack in third period. No one cares if your outfit doesn't coordinate with the rest of high school style. No one cares if you lost the district sports competition. No one cares if you broke your A-plus streak. The only person who should really care is you. So there's really no point in caring about other people's opinions. High school was a test to see if you could really hold on to yourself no matter what happens. Know that you are you, and it's not your problem if anyone else judges your character, because you're the main character. You control how you want to live your life. You decide the plot of the story. You decide for yourself who you want to keep in your life that is beneficial to you. Don't waste your time thinking about what someone else is thinking about your character, Every single person is busy writing their own story, so don't get too distracted in being an important side character in their book. Now, for the people that really helped build my story, I'm so grateful for all the memories we've made. You've changed my life in some way, shape, or form. To those who I talk to every day, to those who I walk past every day but never talk to, <laughs> those who I sat in class with, those who shared a Quizlet with me, those who asked for my homework, those who I shared the stress of IB with, you are all people who helped me learn what true love and true friendship is. I learned more about myself and more about the world because of you. 
So to my high school experience, I am extremely grateful for you for allowing me to rediscover my talents in the arts, for finding people who allowed me to truly be myself, for challenging my leadership skills, for finding BTS, <laughs> and for just getting me to where I am today. High school is not just the school, it's the people, the friends, the relationships, the memories, and at the end of it, it is you you learn the most about. Your weaknesses, your strengths, what you loathe, and what you love. So to everyone in high school right now, or about to be, or are leaving, and are being thrown into the great unknown, I hope you continue to grow into who you want to be, and pursue your passion and achieve your goals. It's not High School Musical, but I mean, you are the author of the story. Your story. So make it a story worth telling. And I know you will make it out to be one. Yours truly, Mika.